Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem five in chapter twenty-seven. Chapter twenty-seven is about magnetism. So there we can see the force, the maximum force for electric force is given as seven point five then times the power ten power negative two newtons, right? And tell us this is placed between the pole force faces of mag magnets. Tell you the current flows horizontally, so this way to the right, and the magnetic field is a vertical, and the wire is observed jump toward its observer when the current is tur turned on. What type of magnetic pole is the top of is in the top of faces? So this one we can see how can we do this problems. Look at the right hand rules, right? So. Please follow me. Take your right hand. We can see to us the current pointing to the right. So use your right hand pointing to the right, and then the wire is observed jump towards the observers. So that means your thumb should pointing to yourself, right? So your four fingers pointing to the right, and the thumb pointing to yourself. And you can see when you rotate your four fingers, this. Must pointing up, right? You must when you want to rotate your four fingers. It the fingers, four fingers pointing up. This is the field. This is a magnetic field direction pointing up. Agree? And so this one tell us the magnetic field must be pointing up. So the top pole faces must be a south pole, right? Yes. Second one. If the pole faces have a diameter of ten centimeters, ask you to find the current in the wire. If the field is zero point two two teslas, so now how can we do that? So we can say first one we write down the magnetic force is given, right? The length of the wire is given. The magnetic field is given. Ask you to find the current. This is so easy. So we just write down the function. For magnetic magnet, the maximum magnetic force that is I L B, right? And then get the function for current. So input the given quantities, you can get the answer there. The next one tell you the angle between the wire and the field is is a ten degree. And then the other quantities like the length, the magnetic field, and the current are kept same. So what is the force in this case? So this is, uh, very straightforward. You can write down magnetic force as I L B sine theta, right? Input the given quantities. You can get answers there. Thank you.